Does your interview have a little bit of room echo and sound something like this? Let's get rid of that echo and clean up inside Premiere Pro. Alright guys, don't worry about the half-closed eye look that are glazed over. Let's go ahead and just take a quick listen to this audio and hear the room echo and see what it sounds like. This is an example of an interview setup that should have a lot of room echo. I actually have the boom mic right outside of frame here pointed above my head and not at my mouth and chest. Sometimes these things happen. Let's see if we can clean up in Premiere Pro. Okay, so it's not bad. We definitely have some uh, room echo in there. Let's see if we can clean up, make it sound a little better. This is kind of how I would approach this using Adobe Podcast and Premiere. So once I have the takes I would use, I would clean up the shot. Let's move everything over my select. Let's mark some in and out points. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna export the audio for Adobe Podcasts. In my testing, I found that wave seems to work better. Let's go ahead and do a waveform audio. Let's just take a quick look at the uh, audio rates and everything. Everything is looking good in here. Defaults are most likely gonna be fine here. But let's export that wave format. All right, depending on your clip, this shouldn't take too long. Let's open up Adobe Podcasts. And Adobe Podcast is great and it can fix up a lot of audio issues that you might have, whether it's the room echo that we're having right now, or if it's like wind or any other issues that you might have in the background. All we need to do is drag our clip over and let Adobe Podcast do the majority of the work and then we'll see how it sounds. So I'm just gonna take our WAV file, drag it. It's gonna do the enhancing speech. And this is usually a pretty fast process. We'll just let it sort of uh, do its AI magic and glory and we'll listen to the audio of what it sounds like once once we get it back and there we go just like that that probably took one minute uh let's download it bring it back into premiere pro and see how it sounds it's going to retitle it enhanced let's bring that on to track two and uh just solo it to hear it really quick this is an example of an interview setup that should have a lot of room echo i actually have the boom mic right outside of frame here pointed above my head and not on my mouth and chest sometimes these things happen let's see if we can clean up in premiere pro all right, so it's not bad. I think it's a little bit bassy in this example. So let's do a little bit of extra tweaks to kind of clean it up and get rid of a little bit of that bass and just equal it out a little bit. Like I was mentioning, a lot of times this is gonna come out really well right out of the gate, but if it either sounds too tinny or too low, you can kind of use the same steps to equalize out that audio. So let's dive right in. Instead of doing on the individual clip, I'm gonna bring up the audio track mixer. Our enhanced audio is on audio track two. I'm gonna bring down the effects. The first effect I'm gonna use is the parametric equalizer, which can be found in filter and EQ. All right, so let's add this really quick. Double click it to get the parameters up here. And what I'm gonna do is I already have my in and out point set. I'm gonna let this loop until I can kind of hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna click the loop playback icon. If you don't have that icon, click on this little plus button. You can drag the icon over, just sort of add it. So for example, if I wanted this rulers icon, I can just drag and drop it, hit OK, and that's how you're gonna get your loop playback. So now I have my loop playback and I can see exactly what the waveforms are doing. I'm gonna simplify this preset. I'm gonna go with loudness maximizer. We have our low frequencies and our high frequencies. And let's just kind of tweak this until we get something that we like. A lot of room echo. I actually have the boom mic right outside of frame here pointed above my head. A little bit too not on my mouth and chest. Sometimes these things happen. Let's see if we can clean up in Premiere Pro. This is an example of an interview setup that should have a lot of room echo. I actually have the boom mic right outside of frame here pointed above my head and not on my mouth and chest. Sometimes these things happen. Let's see if we can clean up in Premiere Pro. This is an example of an interview right. setup that should have a lot of room echo. Cool. And so far, that's sounding pretty good. By tweaking the low frequencies of the bass and a little bit of the high frequencies of my voice, and this is going to vary depending on if you have a low voice, a high voice, we're able to kind of hone in where we want that level to sound like. You don't want to go too bassy, and we're able to make it sound a little bit better than what we got from Adobe Podcast. Let's play them back to back really quick and see what they sound like. This is an example of an interview setup that should have a lot of room echo. I actually have the boom mic right outside of frame here pointed above my head and not at my mouth and chest. Sometimes these things happen. Let's see if we can clean up in Premiere Pro. This is an example of an interview setup that should have a lot of room echo. I actually have the boom mic right outside of frame here pointed above my head and not on my mouth and chest. Sometimes these things happen. Let's see if we can clean up in Premiere Pro. And so far that sounds great. There's one extra effect I would add and I'd go to amplitude and compression. And I like to use the multiband compressor. And what this is gonna do is we have a nice preset already here for broadcast. This way once you have a long track of VO and maybe a couple of audio tracks of audio or background music, 
you can kind of set the audio level to where you might want everything to be at. If I want my voice or my interview to be around the negative 12 mark and kind of keep it consistent, this is a good way to do some sort of auto, a little bit of auto ducking to kind of always be in that range. This, this is an example of a little high, but that should have a lot of room echo. I actually had the boom mic right. So there we go. We're getting negative 12, you know, nice sweet spot to be. We want a little bit higher. Point above my head and not on my mouth and chest. And that will also work with music if you want it to be a little bit lower. It's kind of just going to keep everything within that range. So that's a fast way to fix some echo audio that'll probably solve 90% of your problems that you'll have if, you know, accidents happen and you don't get the cleanest audio that you want. Hope that helps out and I'll see you guys in the next one.